You guys know what this is? Moringa seeds. And we have oops. We have lots of it. And then we're gonna have a delicious breakfast this morning. Hello, hello, welcome. Hi family, welcome to the channel. Welcome, welcome. So let me give you let me do let me have a chit chat with you guys. Um, yeah, so it's a beautiful afternoon, beautiful afternoon, and uh, I know it's been a while. I tried posting this video and I tried uploading, <laughs> I don't know what I mean. It's like I don't know what I'm doing anymore when it comes to um, editing my videos and uploading them and making sure that they are um, perfect, but and also the internet for some reason. I think it's because it's uh, that time, usually when before the rainy season, it gets, it's very hot. They start to take the power uh, and the internet is, it keeps lagging, it keeps giving trouble. <laughs> so I think that's what's happening to me now. Yes, family, blessings, welcome again, welcome to the channel. So I wanted to share with you guys. I'm not going anywhere. I just came into the car. I think lately I've been. That's why I do my videos in the car because um, yeah, we just got back from the road. Um, there's so much I have to do. So much I have to do this weekend um, before I leave, and so yeah, there's so much to take care of. But I wanted to share with you guys. Um, nothing uh, really important or nothing um, of an emergency or anything but I have been hearing lately of persons living the Gambia so many of us are living I'm talking now to the diaspora so many of us are living and so many things are happening and it's really it's heartbreaking when I hear uh, stories of what's going on um, it's not it's not um nice at all when you hear the stories of how much people are uh, being taken advantage of and uh, just feel get they feel frustrated and feel like that's it you know and I, I I've, I've encouraged us many times to not feel bewildered not feel uh, like all hope is lost and not feel but it's difficult to encourage someone to tell them how to feel when stuff is going on with them and when it's not going with you, on with you then how do you tell me that I shouldn't feel how I feel <laughs> you know so yeah I just wanted to um, but I still want to encourage us to not lo lose hope whatever it is that we have to do whatever our plans are whether we, we are leaving whether we are staying whatever it is um, I really sympathize and I really I even apologize trust me I even apologize I am really sorry to hear those things and to know that those things are happening but um, yeah that's happening as far as I've heard it's happening all over the continent a lot of people in Ghana our people leave to go to Ghana they leave to go to Kenya they leave to go to Tanzania they leave to go to Rwanda wherever uh, and they you have the people complaining about the same things um, so yeah so it's it's really not just the Gambia and it's really not it's just happening everywhere um, some places are worse than not than the uh, than others but uh, yeah be of good cheer guys and um, for if you are staying for those of us who are they who have decided that Gambia is our home. I pray that most I continue to be the edge around us and to protect us and um, 
understand that it's not easy it's not easy when you come especially a place like the Gambia a place where uh, I know I'm not sure some people might get offended when I say stuff like that a place where poverty is is very high you know and people are really in need then you get those things happening people are taking advantage and even not just the Gambians even us the diaspora are taking advantage of each other I don't know why I feel this video is is I, I feel that that need that that uh, desire on my heart to really put out you know love and and to really share um, my concern for my people here those of us who are going through so much I, I just feel the need in this video I just feel the need in this video to really put it out there and let you guys let us know let you guys know that you're not alone in this it's not it's not easy and as I said we have not been through anything major but I pray for those of us who are going through stuff and who are thinking of leaving and who are bitter and, and frustrated oh my god I pray that you may find that peace that you may not live with bitterness you may live and see it as an opportunity to um start over and to make wiser decisions and if we are living here to go to another african continent uh, uh, african continent if we are living here to go to another african country don't expect it to be easier it's it's the same because i've heard as i said i've seen videos and i've heard of all of us who, of different who are going to different african countries complain about the same things so just make different decisions wiser decisions don't expect to do the same thing and get different results so if you are living here to go to a different african country make better choices think think through things things before you do them think twice three times before you put out that money the same thing you do in the west do that here on the continent think twice three times before you put out that money those hundreds of thousands and then think and then make do your due diligence to find out uh, the person that I'm giving my money to are they the owner of what I'm trying to purchase uh, is that the right you know that's what I'm encouraging because the thing that I hear is it's mistakes like this that we make we give our money to persons that are not the owner of the property or we, we, we don't we search about the property and the owner has changed hands and we end up giving our money to the the previous owner instead of the the present owner and uh and, and i say it's it's very heartbreaking when you hear of stop people doing that how can you do that to your fellow human being how can you do that to somebody who you who comes to your country and you call my brother my sister how can you do that but I don't want this video to be negative at all. I just want to pour out my love to the diaspora, to my people. We are all one people. But those of us coming, those of us who are living the West coming, that's when I say my people, I'm talking about those of us who are coming because I have, we know what we, each other are going through. We pay shipping and we come here. We know what's going on in the West that we, we, we want to get away from. That, so when I say my people, that's what I mean. All right, Gambians are also my people, and I encourage us Gambians. I don't see myself as Gambian, and I will don't think I will ever see myself as a Gambian because I will not because I'm not a Gambian, you understand. But we are the same people, you understand. Wherever we go, we'll still be looked at as black people, right. And we go through the same struggles, the same hardship. You understand the same oppression. But we should do better to each other, by each other. Alright? Pray the most high that you go in peace. I should stop this video here. I pray the most high that you go in peace. I pray that the most high, as I said, continue to put an air hedge around his people. Israel, I pray for you. I pray for you that you may, wherever you go, that you don't expect it to be um all peace and safety but you allow the most high to give you his peace and that you know whatever you go through 
that you may face it knowing that the most high has your back being here thank you for being watching the channel thank you so much my husband is he hasn't seen me inside for two minutes and he's coming to look for me look at this guys two minutes he hasn't seen me inside and he's coming to, oh oh my god he made me tea you made me tea my baby Babes, you made me tea. Thank you so much. And I'm saying two minutes that you haven't seen me and you're coming to look for me. Oh my God, guys. My husband, look at this. Thank you, babes. Thank you, my sweetheart. <laughs> Thank you, babes. Because I kept saying all morning I woke up with a headache. I kept saying I woke up with a headache. Like the whole week. I do not know what's happening, guys. The whole week. I am waking up every day with a headache. And I think it's because I am I, I am a little stressed over leaving. <laughs> I'm a little stressed over leaving my family. Because, yes, I am traveling alone. I am living alone. My family will still be here in the Gambia. So I think because I'm a little stressed about leaving them. Every day of this week, I've been waking up with headaches. Even though and my husband asked, did you have tea this morning? And I said, yes, I had tea. But he made me lemon tea. Oh, this man is a sweetheart. Oh, my God. Guys, I really appreciate this. My husband made me. Look, you guys can see the lime inside there. My hubby made me lime tea. So, yeah, thank you so much, Father. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for an attentive husband. That is not easy. Even when you come here, as I was saying before, some of us think that we'll come and our, if our marriage is already breaking down in the West, we, and we'll think that, okay, we'll come. And if we leave the West and we come here, that things may get better we'll, our life will be easier we're not going to have so much bills and you know we'll start you know rekindling that fire no trust me <laughs> nope when you get here as i've been saying all the time is mindset when you get here you have to be working extra hard to understand each other because you'll be at each other's throats a little more you'll be at each other's throats a little more I'm telling you but if there's there's always if there's love and you guys know that um that's that's your family then of course you're going to do your your utmost best when troubles come here when the the difficulties come when the stresses come you're going to do your utmost best to know that you are facing it as a family and it's not time for you to be at each other's throat and breaking up your marriage over over um struggles you know it's mindset it's all about mindset and understanding the will of the most high for us families falling apart is not the will of the most high and for those of us um men who are coming our brothers who are coming and our eyes are straying and going to um, looking at strange women that's what the bible call it a strange woman is a woman that is not your wife a woman that is new you know how you call each other strangers before we know each other so yeah a woman that is not that you you have not known is a strange woman a woman that does that knows nothing about you and your culture and what you experience your wife that woman beside you is that woman that that the most i has placed you with so when you come here and you start to your eyes start to stray to strange women you know you you asking for trouble and then we end up breaking up because of that right this is foolishness this is downright and utterly foolishness um i'm not saying those people who have their marriages are broken down since coming to the gambia i'm not saying that is your i'm not told, i'm not talking about your marriage at all so don't even take what I just said to be about anyone here. I'm just saying that it's not, when you come, don't expect it to be all um, kumbaya and my marriage is going to get better. 
if it's already falling apart in the west it's not going to get better here it might uh, end up really shattering here because of all the things that you may have to experience the different things the new things the strange things the difficult things you know but if there's that um hope if you're expecting if you guys are in love and you really want it to work then you come here and see the opportunities and the, and the, the the way that you know you can rekindle that uh that fire and and begin to seek the most high more for yourself and your family and realize how much easier it can be here and don't rush into things guys that's also another thing that i see people do when they come here and we did the same thing in three months we got our P, our PR, our residence, and we started a business. And I also built, we built on, on somebody's land. And we started a business and we also bought land in th within three months of getting here. And I think the most, I have always been cautious when it comes to my money. So, you know, nothing about of scamming and, and robbing me has ever happened, us has ever happened. I don't part with my money that easily so yeah none of those things have happened but don't be in a hurry don't be in a hurry when you get here take it slowly and I think a lot of us have done that we've rushed and bought land and start businesses and paid how much hundreds and thousands of the last year starting this and doing this and putting money here and start you understand yeah but I encourage you to don't be in a hurry come here and yes some of us are coming and we want to start a business right away because we want to have that income flowing but be very careful with that because you might end up going into something and accepting something and giving out your monies for something that is not what you really supposed to be doing right and then you'll be you take an advantage of you may realize that the person that you paid for rent for your rental property is not the is not the owner of the rental property in the end that's another subject for another day but i love you guys i really encourage my people to take it slowly and uh i really pray for peace for you i really pray for peace most type protection for us i don't know why i feel this video is is i i feel that that need that that uh desire on my heart this video here I pray the Most High that you go in peace. I pray that the Most High, as I said, continue to put an air ahead around His people. Israel, I pray for you. I pray for you that you may, wherever you go, that you don't expect it to be um, all peace and safety. But you allow the Most High to give you His peace. And that you know whatever you go through, that you may face it knowing that the Most High has your back knowing that he will be the judge and but also being wise he said we have to be wise as a serpent wise as a serpent and harmless as doves so we have to be wise put on that cap be wiser than our enemies be wiser than those who are trying to take advantage of us we i, I put out videos not just putting out all what's happening oh we go we having fun or we doing this or we doing that for me, that has never been a reason why I put out videos. I like to encourage. I like to be one. Sorry, guys, for some reason. I think the lemon tea is working. It gave me a, a little runny nose. Right? And it's working. Mm, so good. Mm. Thank you so much. Thank my husband for that. You understand? So, yeah. I love you guys. Thank you so much to all my subscribers. Those of you who are still with me, please hang in there with me. My views are not the same like it used to be, but I know it's because, uh, you know, persons love information and they don't love seeing just angry mom talking and enjoying life in the Gambia. Come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> Give me a little love. Yeah, but I really... um love you guys and yes it's not all about the views it's about um, putting something out there that is positive and to remind us that uh for us who are israel that the most high is with us and he will take care of us he will provide for us he, he guides allow him to guide and he will provide 
And in all things, I pray his peace. His peace, sweet peace that passeth all understanding. And in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I love you guys. I love you guys. Let us live in peace. Let us Gambians begin to see the good that we can do coming here. And, and for those of us who are not as those who are uh, taking advantage of, of, uh, of, of each other, please spread the word. You know, spread the word. We should be coming together as a people, not, not tearing down, not fighting each other. I really love you guys. I really love you guys. All right. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I thank you. I thank you even the, the friends I have made here in the Gambia. It's very easy to um to to be here and to, to be alone. It's very easy. Because sometimes I've got I've said all this. Alright. Be good guys. I love you guys. Uh look out for my next video. It's gonna be the bomb. Bye bye. Love you guys. So I'm doing a few of my um I'm going to be making a few of my outfits for my vacation. But well, it's not really a vacation. It's business and vacation. I don't want my husband to let me say vacation. I'm leaving him to go on a vacation somewhere else. So it's not really vacation. It's going on business. But I, there will part of my trip will be fun and exciting. Exciting. Right? Yeah, so I'm going to do some I'm going to do some I don't have enough light in my front room so I'm making some so this is like a, a beach wrap So I'm going to do some hemming right now. glasses to thread the machine. I'm half blind. <laughs> I trust the most high to make me whole again. <laughs> but yeah. Postpone it when others doubt and out you don't condone it. Truth be told, yourself is your toughest opponent. When your moment comes, grab hold and own it. 
never let go, stand tall and hold tight Overcoming obstacles is the objective in life